What if I told you that true freedom and happiness aren't found in the things you own, but in what you let go of? Again, what if I told you that true freedom and happiness aren't found in the things you own? Imagine a life where your joy isn't tied to the latest gadgets or the trendiest clothes. What if the key to a fulfilling life lies not in accumulation but in simplicity? What if it's not about getting more? What if the secret to happiness is about appreciating what you already have and finding contentment in the present moment? What if it's about letting go, letting go of the unnecessary clutter, both physical and mental, that weighs us down? Imagine the freedom that comes with releasing what no longer serves you. We live in a world obsessed with material possessions. Everywhere we look, we're encouraged to buy more, own more and consume more. We're bombarded with messages telling us we need more to be happy. Advertisements, social media and even our peers often equate success with the quantity of our belongings. But what if there's a different path, a path that leads to a deeper, more lasting sense of fulfillment? A path that isn't paved with material goods, but with meaningful experiences and inner peace. This is where the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, and specifically the teachings of Epictetus, can guide us. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to let go of what we cannot. Epictetus, a former slave turned profound philosopher, offers a powerful antidote to the anxieties of our consumer-driven world. His teachings remind us that our true power lies within our own minds. He teaches us that true happiness lies not in external validation, but in mastering our inner world. By cultivating inner peace and resilience, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. Over the next few minutes, we'll embark on a journey together, a journey to explore how the principles of Stoicism can transform our lives. We'll explore the teachings of Epictetus and how they can empower you to find freedom from the relentless pursuit of more. We'll learn how to shift our focus from external possessions to internal growth. This isn't about rejecting material possessions altogether. It's about finding a balance that allows us to enjoy what we have without being enslaved by it. It's about shifting our focus, recognizing that true fulfillment comes from within. By appreciating the simple moments and nurturing our inner selves, we can find a deeper sense of joy. Are you ready to discover a life of greater peace, purpose and happiness? Let's begin this transformative journey together and uncover the profound wisdom that can lead us to a more meaningful existence. Born into slavery in ancient Greece, Epictetus knew hardship firsthand. Despite his circumstances, he found liberation not in external change, but in inner transformation. His teachings centered around self-control and acceptance resonated deeply with people from all walks of life. We don't control external events. We can't control the weather, the economy, or the actions of others, but we can control our thoughts and reactions. This is the key to finding lasting peace and happiness. Imagine a life where you're not constantly chasing the next big thing. Imagine feeling content with what you have, finding joy in simple pleasures, and focusing on what truly matters. This is the promise of Stoicism, and it all starts with understanding the power we have over our own minds. We are bombarded with advertising. Buy this, get that, you'll be happy. It's a constant message. But does it ring true? This relentless pursuit of more leaves us feeling empty and dissatisfied. We work longer hours to buy things we don't need, to impress people we don't even like. It's a vicious cycle. True freedom, Epictetus reminds us, lies in detaching from this external validation. It's about finding contentment in who we are, not what we own. I remember saving up for months to buy the latest smartphone. I was convinced it would make me happier, more connected, more fulfilled. And for a brief moment, it did. But the novelty soon wore off. The phone, once a source of excitement, became just another object. I was back to square one, chasing the next fleeting high. This experience was a turning point for me. It made me realize the futility of seeking happiness in material possessions. True fulfillment, I began to understand, had to come from within. The price 
of chasing more. This constant pursuit of more takes a toll on us. We experience stress, anxiety, and a sense of never having enough. We sacrifice our time, our relationships, and even our health in the pursuit of material wealth. But what if we chose a different path? What if, instead of chasing more, we focused on appreciating what we already have? What if we found joy in the present moment, rather than constantly striving for something more? This is the essence of Epictetus' teachings. It's about shifting our focus from external validation to inner peace. It's about finding freedom from the relentless pursuit of more. A life transformed embracing Stoicism. Let me introduce you to Sarah. A successful lawyer, Sarah had it all. A high paying job, a beautiful home and all the material possessions she could ever want. But beneath the surface, she felt empty and unfulfilled. The more she achieved, the more she felt like something was missing. Sarah's turning point came when she stumbled upon the teachings of Epictetus. I was immediately drawn to his emphasis on inner peace and self-control. I began to realize that true happiness wasn't about acquiring more, but about mastering my own mind. Letting go from materialism to meaning. This section delves into the profound journey of moving away from materialistic desires and finding deeper meaning in life. Sarah started applying Epictetus' principles in her daily life. She practiced gratitude, making it a daily ritual to write down things she was thankful for. This simple act shifted her focus from what she lacked to the abundance she already had. Focusing on the good things she already had, she began to see the beauty in simplicity. She simplified her life, decluttering her home and mind. Each item she let go of was a step towards clarity and peace. She donated possessions that no longer served her, realizing that holding onto them was holding her back. Her closet, once overflowing, now contained only what she truly needed and loved. She began to distinguish between what was within her control and what was not. This newfound understanding brought a sense of empowerment. She could now focus her energy on things she could change, rather than stressing over the uncontrollable. I couldn't control the long hours at work, the endless meetings, or the demanding deadlines. These were external factors beyond my influence. But I could control my reaction to them. I started practicing mindfulness, taking deep breaths, and finding moments of calm amidst the chaos. I couldn't control the traffic, the honking horns, or the endless wait times but I could control my thoughts while I was stuck in it. I began listening to calming music and even meditating during these moments, turning frustration into an opportunity for peace. This shift in perspective was transformative. It was not just about letting go of physical possessions, but also about releasing mental burdens. Sarah found a sense of peace and contentment she had never experienced before. Her home was a sanctuary and her mind was clear. She was no longer weighed down by the relentless pursuit of more. She was free, free to enjoy the present moment, free to pursue her passions and free to live a life of meaning and purpose. Epictetus teaches us that it's not external events that disturb us, but our opinions and judgments about them. We create our own suffering by attaching our happiness to things we can't control. Imagine, for example, you're stuck in traffic. You could get angry, frustrated and stressed. Or you could choose to see it as an opportunity to listen to your favorite podcast, enjoy some quiet time or simply practice acceptance. The same event, two different perspectives, two completely different outcomes. By reframing our thoughts, we can change our experience of the world. We can find peace and contentment even in challenging situations. Practical Stoicism. Applying ancient wisdom today. How can we apply these ancient teachings in our modern lives? It starts with small deliberate actions. Practice gratitude. Take a few minutes each day to reflect on the good things in your life. Simplify your life. Declutter your home and let go of possessions that no longer serve you. Focus on what you can control. Identify the things you can control, your thoughts, actions, reactions, and let go of the rest. Meditate, spend time each day quieting your mind and cultivating inner peace. Live in the present moment. Focus on the here and now rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. These simple practices can have a profound impact on your well-being. Your week-long journey to inner peace. This week is all about finding tranquility and balance within yourself. 
It's a time to explore your inner world and cultivate a sense of calm and clarity. I challenge you to embark on a week-long experiment. This isn't just any experiment, it's a personal journey designed to help you connect with your inner self and discover the peace that lies within. For the next seven days, try incorporating these stoic principles into your life. These principles have stood the test of time and can offer profound insights and guidance. Pay attention to how you feel. Notice the subtle changes in your mood, your thoughts, and your overall sense of well-being. Notice any shifts in your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. This awareness is the first step towards meaningful change and personal growth. Here's a simple plan you can follow. Each day, you'll focus on a different activity designed to promote inner peace and mindfulness. Day one, gratitude journaling. Start your journey by acknowledging the positive aspects of your life. Write down three things you're grateful for. This simple practice can shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. A day two, declutter challenge. Clear out the physical clutter in your space to make room for mental clarity. Get rid of five items you no longer use or need. This act of letting go can be incredibly liberating and can create a more peaceful environment. Day three, control list. Understanding what you can and cannot control is crucial for inner peace. Make a list of things you can control and things you can't. This exercise helps you focus your energy on what truly matters. Day four, mindful breathing. Breathing exercises can help center your mind and calm your body. Practice five minutes of mindful breathing. Focus on each inhale and exhale, letting go of any tension with each breath. Day five, digital detox. Disconnect from the digital world to reconnect with yourself. Take a break from social media and technology for a few hours. Use this time to engage in activities that nourish your soul. Day six, acts of kindness. Kindness towards others can also bring peace to your own heart. Do something kind for someone else. It could be a small gesture or a significant act, but it will make a difference. Day seven, reflection. Take time to reflect on your journey over the past week. Reflect on your experiences over the past week. How do you feel? What did you learn? What changes have you noticed in yourself? Remember, this is a journey, not a race. Each step you take is a step towards greater inner peace and understanding. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress along the way. Embrace the journey and the growth that comes with it. Reclaim your freedom, the stoic path to happiness. The teachings of Epictetus offer a timeless roadmap to navigate the challenges of our modern world. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and reactions, we can find true freedom and happiness regardless of our external circumstances. It's time to break free from the shackles of materialism and embrace a life of greater meaning, purpose and fulfillment. It's time to reclaim your freedom. Join the journey, embrace the stoic life. I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts, experiences and insights in the comments below. How have the teachings of Epictetus resonated with you? What steps are you taking to incorporate stoic principles into your life? If you're ready to delve deeper into Stoicism and unlock its transformative power, subscribe to our channel. We'll explore the wisdom of the Stoics together, providing practical guidance and support on your journey to a more meaningful life. Remember, true freedom and happiness are within your reach. Embrace the Stoic path and discover the boundless potential that lies within you.